what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house once again here with another reaction to the walking dead season 11 episode 6 is here today hopefully you guys are ready to jump in man because i know that i'm ready i don't know what we're gonna get update on in this episode but so far so good up deep five episodes <laughs> five episodes in man and we are i am completely immersed into this season so far um of course you know we've got an update on everybody else now it's connie's turn okay so finally we got confirmation that she is alive we kind of already knew she was alive but it's good to get the confirmation as well um you guys have corrected me on a couple of things talking about um georgia the lady that visited maggie at hilltop and stuff like that because i keep thinking that she has something to do with commonwealth and stuff like that i couldn't remember her name but i kept thinking that she was the lady that's going to be at commonwealth and blah 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 and we've met these people um before but nobody knows really what's happening um with georgia if she's still alive or is she dead i thought she came from the commonwealth i was thinking that she came from there but hey i was wrong <laughs> i was completely remembering who that lady is completely wrong um so yeah man so last episode kind of dell got an update on you know um maggie and negan and um and of course the situation that happened back when they went back to um hilltop to see if there's any supplies there and stuff like that that they could salvage and they met um on one of the face people <laughs> one of the face people i am drawing blanks today i don't know why i'm just drawing blanks today um remembering these characters but yeah part of that crew <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about the ones who wears uh, the walkers faces or the what they call them uh, i still don't i can't <laughs> i can't remember right now it is completely lost on me you guys don't understand because of the sheer amount of stuff that i react to on this channel sometimes it really it really is hard to remember specific stuff about uh, not story wise i can remember the story but for some reason names are just like sometimes it just like the names just just go out the window for me and stuff like that so i really do apologize for forgetting who these people are who they were i remember alpha and beta but i cannot for the life of me remember what those people are called right now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so in any case they met up on one of these dudes they had like uh some of the other people with them and you know aaron went ape shit on them you know basically infecting this guy on purpose just to try to see if he could get some information out of him to see if they're trying to plan an attack on a alexandria again so in the end they had mercy you know in the end they did have mercy for him and he revealed that connie was alive so that was some good stuff right there so we also has the dilemma that's happening at alexandria with my girl judith um you know she's really missing you know her mom or dad and of course carl you know what i'm saying um and of course rosita was there to kind of you know help her through things and help her to get through it because it's one of those things where you're living in a world where the unknown is the unknown you don't really know you just have to have this unbelievable amount of hope for things to work out the way how you want them to work out and it's just is far beyond the scope that a, that a child should have to be able to take on or handle so i'm looking forward to it hopefully you guys are ready for episode 6 of season 11 i know i am let's jump into it if you guys are watching on the backup channel make sure you check out my original channel with all my reactions that i'm that i am doing right now stuff that i've done in the past make sure you go ahead and check those out as well i would really appreciate it if you're new on terabyte reacts and gaming i have an original channel that's not working very well so you are currently watching on my backup channel 
as well because notifications is completely broken my from my original channel that has over 6,000 subscribers it doesn't show up in the sub box or anything like that that is the reason why I have a backup channel right now so you might be wondering why is everything that I do look so professional of sorts and I have good equipment that's because I've been doing YouTube for three years not started a couple months ago with 300 surprise subscribers so just know that i appreciate you guys for viewing this nonetheless let's jump into the episode and i will see you guys at the end for the review It's that guy that met, that Michonne met on that island, right? We can hide. Are those walkers? We'll make better time if I ride out on my own. It's less risky, and we're going to cover more ground with a larger group. The council's working out a plan right now. Kanye doesn't have time to wait on a committee. Well, why don't we split the difference between fast and safe? Teams of two, we could divide the map up into smaller grids that could reduce the risk. Hey, any of you seen Callie? Yo, she took off by herself? Come on. Slept in days. I can keep watch. You she looks so scared, man. Find your home. You. That's not gonna happen, buddy. 
Oh my god, really? Jeez, man. Pulling the nails. Damn it. Well, you take a turn now. Speed things up for me. Alright. I'm up. Like hell you are. You gonna have to do. We're just gonna stand here, stare at each other dreamily. Are we gonna get to it? Hey, you kill him. The two of us are gonna have a problem. I don't need a babysitter. I know what I'm doing. Give them a location where your friends are hiding. If we do that, this all goes away. That's uh, that's a good offer. Or, and hear me out. You all could go eat shit instead. <laughs> Just a thought. <coughs> Already gone through these steps. Maybe we start taking pieces. You do what you gotta do. Give him a knife. Yo, this man is taking one for the team. Well, several, actually. I don't think you understand. I'm the best shot you got. Why? We're friends now. No, not because we're friends. Cause I'm the one holding the knife. Yeah. Now your buddy's the one holding the gun. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up and listen to me. I know we're close to her. The leader. Close enough. Yo, I, I don't know, bruh. They gonna kill me anyways. <laughs> no one needs to die in here. So just say a location so we can all walk away happy. Nah. Go to hell, ass. <laughs> oh my yo! Is that good enough? I can scout it out. Take the squad. Three of you. See if our friend speaks true. You want us to take him? Bruh. <laughs> this shit got real than a mug. 
there's no way this dude is gonna be like <laughs> he gonna hate Daryl if he survives this bro <sighs> At least now Maggie has a warning because it seems like it sent him to a house close to where they are. It's all clear, Carl. That son of a bitch jerked us around. You should stay, look around for a bit so we don't miss nothing. No, we'll search the rest of the town first. Quick and quiet, in case they're still nearby. You three take the north end and work back. We'll meet you in the middle. Copy. Dad was trying to buy them some time because um, they know that they're there. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't see anything. I'm sure you saw something. But... But you haven't slept. So maybe it's... Okay, okay, let's, okay, I'm sorry. You and me, let's give the house another sweep. Okay. What kind of house is this? She can't hear anything. Whoa. The hell was that? Yo, what the hell? Yo. Is this a crazy dude? They must have dipped already. Nothing. Maybe 
after they went up the Oh, there and the, the I track them. You in a hurry to leave? What? Oh, the building. We want to look around, make sure we don't miss anything. I don't want to bump that off. Which is it? Oh, man, I'm just trying to help. Yeah, you keep chirping. Fine, you lose what's on you, but ain't on me. Stop. Watch, we need a perimeter check. Possible runners have a clue. Copy that, Chuck. I don't have time for this tough old shit. Listen. I know. I understand. But I don't need it. Go sift upstairs. Make sure we didn't miss anything. This shit is wild, bro. They're literally, like, right under them. If they make a sound, oh, wow. it's over. You're either with us or you're not. Bitch, I don't walk through fire for your ass. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? For one thing, stop pissing off Carver. The man is not doing anything to piss off Carver. Carver is just pissed because he probably wants to be in your pants too. Sounds like more than one of them. Can't make a sound. Yo! Yo! Behind you! Behind you, dude! Come on! Come on, Virgil. You gonna let this dude crawl away? from the thing so That's crazy. This dirtbag wants to play. I teach him the rules. Come right here, man. Make a move. This is not the time, and it's not <laughs> your call to make. You just 
We both know who he really is deep down. What? I was there. Remember? After? Why, you think this is gonna end any different? So this is what? You're looking out for me? Always. Uh -huh. Gotcha. And what about the fire? When Pope locked me in the cabin and lit it up. Oh, she didn't know. You must have known. She when did not know, know about it. I thought she, I thought it was all planned. Wake up. Everything's a test now. If you think this guy is ever going to give a shit about any of us, you're going to fail. He already showed that he gave a shit right. about her. I don't give a shit about any of you. Except you. I'm here for you. It's no secret I made mistakes. But I'm here right now. Maybe I'd be better at it this time. If you'd let me. And Pope scares the shit out of me. I don't want to be face first in the fire under his boot. But if you say trust him, I'll trust him. We've wasted enough time here already. Oh, you're not serious. Enough. It's time to move on. Sure. It's your call. Oh shit. Yo, they dipped. Told you. But they got some information though. How so? I lost myself for a long time off the map. And I, well, <laughs> I made choices that I can't unchoose. But she gave me another chance, Michelle. She pointed me back to the road, and somehow that road led. So I have to pass on that chance, or it all means nothing. And if you can... Why do you have to pass on that chance? I, if you I'm, conf I'm confused. <laughs> can find your family. That's what you're supposed to help her do? I need you to promise me that you will keep going no matter what happens. I know what you're doing, Virgil. Together. You've already been forgiven, dude. Like, to be this harsh on yourself still? Together. When are you going to, to like, forgive yourself? Time's up. Ouch! Ow! No! Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. 
Yo, this is some... The hills have eyes kind of stuff. The hell? That was very smart. Well, maybe now you can eat each other. You're <laughs> you are hungry, right? It's the ultimate feast. Oh, one of them survived. No. Okay. Kelly is here. Perfect timing. It's an understatement. <laughs> All right, bring on the hugs, bring on the hugs and the tears, bring it on. All right, we got Connie back into the fold. It's a good day. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? Oh, that's the um I think that's the guy that was praying. Call signs, but they slipped away. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> I thought you'd be disappointed. Oh, the best day was a success. How so? After you left, I continued the discussion with our guest. He wasn't too talkative. I got everything I needed out of him. Okay. Yeah, I think he spilled the beans. I think he spilled the beans, man. I think he spilled the beans before he before they killed him. I think he did. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. This is the review for season eleven, episode six of The Walking Dead. It was a great episode again. One of the things that I love about The Walking Dead is how they can completely blow out of proportion <laughs> some seasons and then some seasons they get back to their roots of what made the walking dead great and we are witnessing it here again in season 11 we're coming off of not one of the better seasons but not really rooted in the groundedness of the walking dead that we've experienced 
for like probably like the first seven seasons of the series and then we got that season eight which is the season that i got that that i gave the lowest score to in the series and then nine kind of picked it back up then we you know what i'm saying we um rick went out of the picture and then season 10 without rick and you know and also you know maggie returning at the end of season 10 of course those things were great but season 11 is really going back to what made the walking dead the the greatness that it is today in the final season of the series so i'm enjoying that aspect of it the writing is really good the episodes are very well paced and you don't really you're not out of it like in season eight i found myself kind of out of it sometimes for some of those episodes there were some great episodes in season eight as well i think there was a couple episodes that i really liked in season eight you know but season 11 from one through six so far has been them really taking their time to tell you a story of what's really happening right now whether it's between each faction i would love to see some more of what's going on in the commonwealth but at the same time they are pacing those scenes very good and whenever they show them they got to make sure that it's something important happening um last episode they kind of left off you know of us find trying to find out what's going to be eugene and them fate over there but at the same time they didn't give us any of that in this episode so i'm guessing they're gonna pick that up in the next episode because it's like we're seeing them in every other episode now so it so i'm not worried about it too much but for this episode when it came on to this whole thing of the reapers trying to find maggie negan gabriel and who else who else is there with them um i think that's it right no gabriel and somebody else came back to the house who was it again can't remember his name i can't remember his name this is what this is what i'm talking about like the face is right there but i can't remember his name it's negan maggie gabriel as somebody else somebody else came back to the house with gabriel i can't put <laughs> i can't put my finger on it right now but um i think was it no because they didn't find did they was it him? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to let me know in the comment section. As I said, I'm not very good with the, with re remembering these names sometimes, especially when it's a character that doesn't show up very, uh, uh, very, you know, often in the series. So you guys know who I'm talking about. So um, I definitely know that it's four of them that's left and they still need to go back and find Alden. So um to make sure alden is still alive i don't know if he's still going to be alive once we see him again he might be dead what are they going to do now that they've escaped this danger i don't know if they're going to go back and regroup now that they have some information that daryl decided to slide to them um very sneakily um and give them some information about what's going on at the camp that he's ingratiated himself into right infiltrated if you will so it's it's a matter of them thinking maybe four of them can take him on or i don't think four of them can take off take on 20 men they would have to be super sneaky about it um he didn't necessarily give them a location of where the camp is but he gave them a vague idea of what's going on N not really vague he gave them specific information but not their whereabouts um so the episode ended no oh, no let me not talk about that yet the situation that went down with Connie oh my god those scenes were done so well the camera work everything that they did there reminds me of horror movies like that the whole entire sequence of of um, Virgil and Connie being in the house was an excellently done piece throughout the entire episode the camera work was done well you really felt like you were immersed into that house while they were going through all of this and then the contrast between Virgil being able to hear Connie not being able to hear it's 
it's one of those things that can create a very tense situation because you're, you're like you feel so scared for both of these people and especially when they got separated then we learn that dudes are d d dudes are just running around this house on all fours like they're animals you know what i'm saying so it was really creepy and very well done reminds me of the movie the, the hills have eyes i think that was the name of the movie um we had these creatures walking around <laughs> on all fours you know what i'm saying it was pretty eerie to watch you know what i'm saying and i, I i'm a person that loves the horror genre it doesn't bother me like some people like i'm i'm you guys see me watch this show you know that i'm squeamish but i'm not afraid to watch these things you know what i'm saying um i'm very squeamish like i i never get used to that stuff if it's too gross i'm going to be out you know what i'm saying so it is what it is i'm still going to watch but that sequence was very well done and we finally got um kelly and them that's been looking for them finally found them at the house they heard the commotion they chose the right way to go i'm like oh okay she's <laughs> she found her sister you know what i'm saying so uh it was great that's why i said bring on the hugs we know what's gonna happen hugs and the tears it's expected at this point right so that was pretty cool um to see that they finally we got connie back into the fold hopefully they can help virgil and he doesn't die because he dragged him all the way outside props to connie to be dragging a grown-ass man that must have been hell if they actually filmed if she actually did that she if she actually did that on screen and that wasn't like a um like a what do you call him stunt person that did that if she actually dragged virgil outside props out to connie or the actress that plays connie for actually doing that that was pretty cool um so yes so the ending shout out to daryl misleading them so that uh, Maggie and them can get away and also at the end there we got to see you know what did this guy tell Pope before he before they ended up killing him I don't know I we don't know it seems like it has something to do with Daryl though it seems like he may have spilled the beans on Daryl and they're leaving Shaw is it Shaw I think that's her name they're leaving her out of the loop, right? They didn't really, he didn't whisper anything to her. So I'm wondering if he's going to use Daryl to lead them to Maggie and them. You know what I'm saying? Like use him somehow. They're not going to kill him right away, you know? Um, so we'll see. Cause he probably revealed to them that Daryl is one of their leaders as, as well. So we'll see how things play out or maybe you know what i'm saying like he should have known that he wasn't going to get out of this situation regardless like no matter what he does this is not a situation that he's going that he was going to get out of i didn't see him surviving this entire thing so i was expecting him to die at some point anyways but was he gonna go down because he mean it was taking so much torture you know what i'm saying already he was already taking so much torture you might as well just go out like a boss and not be you know and not rat out anybody you might as well go down like a boss because you was already protecting everyone and doing what you're supposed to do if you get captured you know what i'm saying at this point they're all just soldiers who are trying to survive you gotta be loyal and he was proving that loyalty you know what i'm saying or maybe he just felt some sort of way because daryl cut off his finger i don't know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying but in any case, guys, that is it. That is all I have for you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing another episode next week. We've got two more episodes left before they take a break until next year, I believe. Um, so we'll see how things continue from here. Uh, what what kind of cliffhanger will they have for us in episode 8? Um, hopefully they do have something great in store for us for the next two episodes so thank you guys for tuning in as always man make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment and as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace